Okay, let's look at taste transduction, starting with salt. So this is a taste bud that picks up on salt specifically, right here. Here's my salt. They will have sodium channels. Sodium will flow in and cause the inside of the cell to become more positive. So here the cell is coming, or the sodium is coming in. The inside will depolarize, then calcium will flow in either extracellularly or from intracellular storage, from here or here. The sodium increases, opening up voltage-gated channels, triggering exocytosis. Calcium will attach to receptors on the vesicles that causes the vesicle to attach to the cell membrane that attaches and opens up and becomes a part of the cell membrane. The neurotransmitters will flow through. This will cause depolarization of the neuron. Sodium is going to flow in and if the threshold is reached, we will have action potentials traveling to the brain. Okay, so now we're gonna look at sour. Sour is an acid. Acids are made up of hydrogen ions that are positively charged. So here's my sour H plus ion. If hydrogen ions come in, so here it is coming in, the inside will become more positive, depolarizing the cell. If it makes it more positive, calcium gated channels open and will attach to the vesicle. Neurotransmitters will be released, triggering action potentials. If the acid is attached to receptors that close potassium channels, the potassium will continue to leak out, but the potassium levels will increase inside the cell, right here. When the potassium channels are closed, the inside will become more positive. The cell depolarizes, Voltage-gated calcium channels will open. Calcium comes in and causes the vesicle to release neurotransmitters and become more positive. So the same thing. These are the more complex chemicals. Cow sour can be doing both at the same time. However, umami attaches to a G-linked protein, causes the cell to depolarize again, Calcium flows in and the vesicles and neurotransmitters are released. Action potentials are generated and your brain will perceive these other flavors. Bitter, sweet, and umami do so with specialized receptors for their specialized components. It's a lock and key mechanism. So each of these receptors will fit the exact shape of these chemical components.